everyone, this is Eileen. A while ago on my Instagram, I actually posted some pictures of these painted felt patches I made and I had a lot of requests to do a tutorial for them. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. They're really easy to make and fast, faster than making embroidered patches, although I will be doing a tutorial on those in the future as well. Here are the supplies you will need for this. You're going to need a work surface. I'm just using the back of a sketchbook. You're going to need two circles of felt, one bigger than the other, one for your design and one for your background. You could do this any shape you want. I just usually do a circle, but whatever shape you're... Th you can also just paint it right on the felt also, so then you can cut around it. You're also going to need a paintbrush, um, a pen to draw on the felt if you're doing a more complicated design. Um, pencils won't work. You're also going to need a sewing needle, preferably one with the big eye if you're using embroidery thread or thicker thread like me. I'm using this button thread that's just kind of like rose color. And then you're also going to need a bunch of acrylic paint. So here is the time lapse of me painting the patch. As you can see, I just painted the design directly on it. It wasn't hard to do. Um, I kind of sketched it out first and then went right in. The thing you have to remember about this is that this, the felt is actually absorbing the paint as you're doing it, therefore it's going to take a lot more paint um, to paint a smaller shape than it would on like paper, because it's not soaking in as much to the paper as it is to the felt. You're kind of like dotting it into the felt more, less than like spreading it. So I just did a little heart design. This is kind of a simple one, but I wanted to make it easy and quick for you to see in the tutorial. You can do a lot of other designs. I use Pinterest and Tumblr. Um, you can just like Google image it for like ideas on patches. Um, you'll, have, you'll probably find like embroidery ones or pins. Okay, so um, yeah. Once I'd finished painting it, I threaded my needle with this button thread and I like double layered it kind of so it was like super thick. And therefore, um, when I sewed it, it kind of looked like embroidery floss, even though I don't have any of that. And I'll talk more about how to use this technique in my actual embroidered patch video. Um, basically, I just sewed around it with just a simple in and out stitch. You can do like a loop stitch if you're more into that look. Um, pretty much everyone knows how to do just an in and out stitch, which is fine. Not. Um, you can also just glue it if you're in a hurry, just hot glue it. I'm not sure it would hold up as nicely. And then if you're interested, you could like hot glue a safety pair on the back, but I usually just sew them onto things when I need to sew them, or when I need to attach them. So, there's that. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be back with some more craft tutorials in the very near future. So, here's what the patch turned out like, and I will see you next time. Bye! I forgot to mention in the video that you can actually buy these on the Etsy shop that is linked to this channel. That used to be me and Julia's Etsy shop, but right now there's just these patches listed in it. And you can um, check that out. The link is down below. Um, yeah, so I think that's it now. Okay, goodbye.